tell us about those two different ambiguous endings we got for Supergirl this season? Uh, Any hints? Well, one of them was we have uh, Rain was put in the pot for one of them, so we were, you know, we're very excited that our dead Annabelle was joining the show in that uh, role. And we're excited to have a villain. I think she's a villain unlike uh, anyone we've had on Supergirl in the past. So I think it'll be a very compelling story. I mean, she comes with a very specific agenda. And, uh, and obviously we saw Kara have to make this hero's choice that was devastating to save the Earth by sending her love off into space. And that will really impact the beginning of season three because she's starting in a darker place, you know, having really suffering heartbreak and, and grief. And the central question of season three is, what does it mean to be human? And is there room for Kara to be Supergirl and also have all the emotions that come with being a human being and and she's going to be grappling with that question all season. But Ronella is here, so are you saying that we're going to have flashbacks or is there something else? Chris, we love Chris, and he's definitely in the show, but how and when he returns is, you'll have to stay It's the central mystery of the season, but Monel is not going anywhere. He's on the show. Uh, 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 we talked about last season, you brought um, Superman and introduced him to the series. Um, how or if he will make an appearance in the season? We love Tyler. We love having him on the show right now. We don't have any plans, but if the story takes us there and he's available, we'd love to have him back. We hope so. I have so, best Superman I ever saw. <laughs> when you when you say like what it means to be human, and every year the, the, the carriage journey always ties into the big the big journey. So what, what does that mean for Rain? Well, uh, the, the theme of what does it mean to be human is go we're going to pose that question to every character, um, main character, including Rain, and um, so. Without giving too much away, uh, uh, you know, Rain is going to have an unexpected connection with Lena, Lena Luthor, and um, that's it. That's all I can say. <laughs> but I think I think the fans and the audience will really uh, enjoy it because we're going, we're diving deeper into this film than we have with the other ones in the other season. The special thing about Rain is that I think we hope that the audience is going to have an emotional connection to her, which is unusual for the villain, and we think it's going to be spectacular. You had two major actors who played very big roles in season one who weren't able to return to season two. Can you talk a little bit about reshaping the series uh, to address those roles? Which characters are you uh, Kat and Kat uh, was back. Yeah. She was, and yeah. she's going to be in the series premiere. Uh, I mean, in, in season three premiere. No, no, I think we had just uh, come to the end of one story, and so I think it was reshaping it. Um, but I think kind of continuing what we have done, but our focus shifted a little bit more to the DEO with win there. But I think we love having both worlds in the show and giving. You know, it's allowed us to tell. A lot of different stories, and we like t telling the topical stories we're able to address with Kara as a reporter. And and Cat Grant will continue to recur, obviously not like she was in season one, but she's going to be a presence. Now we heard over in the Arrow press room that Supergirl, the show, is going to be having more of a role in the crossover this year. Uh, can you tell us anything about that? Well, just that it's a true four-part crossover this year that'll start on Supergirl. Be awesome. That's it. <laughs> last last season was kind of a kind of a transitional season. It's almost like a little bit of a reset because we were on the network. But now you have found a real home. Has that changed how you approach the story of this season? Do you feel like you have one I think we we just feel like a, a, an established third season it's show. We feel at the CW and you know they've been very. Uh, embracing the show, embracing what we wanted to do. Um, so I think it's just a continuation of, I mean, it's great to be supported like that. I mean, you know, we, we're just telling the stories that kind of evolve from where we put the characters. So I think it has more to do with that. Than... But we are thrilled to be at the CW, and it's definitely the right home for the show. You know, we love being closer, proximity to the other shows. So. Allowing for those crossovers. Season, do you really introduce this idea of 
that there's the alien aspect of this world on Peach Park Park. Will that continue to play a role in this coming season and people's interpretation or views of the aliens? I think um, the allegory of aliens as um, immigrants, we told that story and we feel like we completed it, so we're not going to stay specifically on that theme. Um, but our universe, our world is still, they are there's still the alien bar, bar, and you know, it's still peopled with those, those characters. Do you know where you're going to end up when you start the season? I mean, do you like sit down and say, This is basically where we want to end up, and then we just work your way through, or do you yeah. like work your way through and then say, Oh, this is where this is where we end up? No, we talked about it in terms of the journeys for the characters, so that kind of created a beginning and an end point, and then we kind of filled in the middle. So it was really, a, once we decided what the season was going to be about creatively and the journeys we wanted to take them on, and we knew where the journey wanted, we wanted that journey to take us, then yeah, the stories kind of came. We know what we're building through. too, but there's a lot in the middle to still fill out. Do you have any guest stars coming? Uh, well, we've already uh, announced uh, Erica Durant and... Uh, Last question. There'll be more announcements this afternoon, I think. Yeah. All right, thank you so much. Thank you.